Hey guys and welcome again. Today I will show you the location of the IAT sensor of our motorcycle Interceptor 650 and Continental GT 650. What's an IAT sensor? IAT sensor is the intake air temperature sensor. A few days back, someone was asking me about the location of this sensor in our motorcycle. So what's an IAT sensor? The IAT sensor is like the name states intake air temperature sensor. So what it does, it takes the temperature reading of the air entering into the, our motorcycle by the air box through the air filter and through the floater body and sends that temperature reading to the ECU or the engine control unit or the electronic control unit of a motorcycle so that it can modulate the ratio of fuel into the air fuel ratio of the fuel injection system so that it would be able to start the motorcycle in cold condition or maintain the idle in hot condition if the air is very hot so if this temp if this sensor is faulty or clogged then there might be few issues like cold starting you won't be able to start the motorcycle perfectly in cold condition or in cold temperature and if and similarly if the sensor is clogged then it might give a false reading of a very hot air entering into the system then the issue might accidentally over lean the mixture or reduce the ratio of fuel entering into the system so basically if this temp, if this sensor is faulty then you might face uh, rough idling cold start issues and uh, engine stalling and something similar to that sometimes it might stop on a traffic light in a very hot condition so where this temp, uh, sensor is located it is mainly located on the air box of our motorcycle this is our, the air box of our motorcycle this is our air filter and this wire you see here this one this is our IAT sensor see to remove this IAT sensor you need a 4 mm allen key and to access this IAT sensor first you have to open the left hand side cover of our motorcycle where you access the air filter so you need the 4 mm allen key to access this to open this IAT sensor just open these two bolts here with the help of 4 mm allen key See, as you know cold air is more dense it means uh, it has more oxygen in it so the ECU then in cold condition needs to send more fuel to the air fuel ratio to burn the excess amount of the oxygen to help aid in cold start conditions and when the temperature is reached it means the air is getting more hotter and means it less dense means there is less oxygen in the air then the issue will reduce the ratio of fuel entering into the system so that it won't run rich if it uh, gives a false reading of a very hot air entering into the system into the system then issue might accidentally over lean the engine or if it gives that the uh, a wrong reading about the air entering into the system is too cold then it might accidentally issue might accidentally over reach the uh, AFR or the air fuel ratio of our motorcycle. So this is the this is the small sensor. Uh, we've got a plastic one. There are metal ones also. This thing, if you take this sensor out of your motorcycle, then you can clearly notice there is this uh, uh, glass or metal element inside this plastic casing. In this, case, this case like casing. Sometimes this get clogged. The reason for it could be very dirty environment where you live uh, dirty air entering into the system because this is located on the air box and sometimes if you are using a performance filter which uses uh, like the oil based performance system like KNN and other BMC kind of system uh, filters which use oil to lubricate the air filter then that oil might sometime clog this filter so if there is mild dust all you can do is just dust it off or blow some air into it to make it clean and put a cloth put a cloth on a key or a screwdriver like this and just clean the inside of this place where the system this sensor is located or fitted just clean it and if there is if you cannot see the element inside or there is too much clogging there then what you can use to clean this filter the best thing is the contact cleaner 
the one used to clean the contact of uh, the electrical one used to clean the circuit board cleaner or the electrical contact cleaner because the, uh, those things doesn't leave any residue behind because if something which you use is oil based then it will uh, leave a residue behind and that will attract more dust so you should avoid oil based cleaner like WD-40 and diesel best thing is the electrical contact cleaner the next best thing is your throttle body cleaner or your carburetor cleaner because those things evaporates and doesn't leave any residue oil based residue behind so that it cannot attract any dust so just clean it see you can clearly see this wire going to a white coupler here if you can see it there is a white coupler here then from there this this is connected to your issue this is our issue the metal box on the, the chrome metal box or the aluminium metal box on the top of the place where we have our seat so the purpose of this I have already explained this is the intake air temperature sens uh, sensor I80 sensor sometimes there is a MAF sensor the mass airflow sensor but uh, nowadays most fuel injected motorcycles have this I80 sensor so if you are facing cold start issue or rough idling issue or engine stalling when the temperature is too hot then you should first check this sensor and clean it if this is clean then you should get your throttle body cleaned up or checked up sometimes it is the throttle body stepper motor issue or sometimes it is a clogged injector so this is a basic very simple thing if this little thing is clogged then you might face some issues so this is a very small video guys thanks and thanks for watching i hope you will learn something new about this and to put it back just simply place it back and just screw it back in just screw it back in properly use it 4mm allen key and just tie this thing up just screw this thing properly so that it won't come out sometime if there are there is too much pressure inside if this thing is not screwed in properly then it will pop out so it is best to screw it properly just close it now it is in so thanks guys and thanks for watching this is a very small video someone has asked me about the location of this sensor on a motorcycle so i thought of making this video i hope it helps you and clear some doubts about this sensor and how it works uh, thanks guys and thanks for watching